did you know that a president from the Great Depression, he had a secret train? I feel like the water symbolizes me, like my emotions and like how they go crazy sometimes and how they're calm and how basically it's just away from everything like like I'm nowhere near like my troubles or anything I'm just like I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be like away from everything I told you not to eat that I came in rocking the boat. I changed into a shirt that can get dirty because I don't like like keeping on my uniform shirt. I, I came in and Sam was like, hey, we're rowing today, so get your boots and your PFDs and we're gonna get ready to get the boats out. <laughs> Okay, so every everybody's basically family here. Like when you come here, you could easily compare it to like when you're walking in your house. You have everybody saying how, hi to you. How's your day? Talking about them, talking about their day. You see, everybody's diverse in their own personality. You have quiet people, and you have like loud people. You have like the silly ones, which is me. You have like the ones that are like mysterious and you want to find out about. You're right. <laughs> You're right. You gotta blame somebody. It's not a place where you have to close yourself in, like how you might feel at school. Because I often close myself in school, and it's like in school I'm more introvert because it's just like a big group. Um, and then we get out the boats, and we start heading for the water. And at that very area, we were doing something called bird watching, and we were monitoring just how many birds are there. Labs want to know are like is the Bronx River a suitable habitat for birds? That will let labs know and give people of power no, like to know, hey, maybe I should put pass a law or something to make this more safe for birds, or maybe I should like check on the factories and see what they're doing to the river mostly.